With some passion, patience, courage and commitment, anyone can pursue a career in art. With the fast growth of internet, social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all of these have become a part of our everyday life. And if you smartly use all these platforms, it is much easier to make your art reach to a wider audience. So technically, without having a formal education in art and without having any investment, anyone can change their hobby into a career. The resources are already at your fingertips. You just have to use them in a smarter way. It's just been two years since I quit my full-time architecture job to pursue a career in art. Before that, I was balancing art and my 9-to-5 job. I used to wait for weekends, public holidays, to relax and paint. I never hated my job. In fact, I love architecture. I still do private projects and competitions so that I'm updated and also I don't forget the software that I have learned. It is my interest in art made me choose a career in architecture. I love designing buildings. I love making design work. It is my love for buildings made me move to Dubai. Just like how I like to stare at night skies, I have the same enthusiasm to look at buildings. We used to have multiple deadlines a week and some days I used to work till 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. There were days I used to come home early in the morning then rush back to work with 2 or 3 hours of sleep. During the early years, I really used to enjoy those late night work but at a point it started affecting my health and I thought I need a break and I decided to take a month break. I was actually planning to go back home and spend the month with my parents but then there was a change of plan and I decided to stay back. I had a whole list of movies to watch and lots of things to do. I had created a long to-do list. Art was also part of the plan but at some point, I don't know how, it changed completely to art. I ignored the rest of the things on my to-do list and focused completely on art and I must say it was magic. I started creating art every day and I started exploring what all I can do with my art. Earlier as well, I was doing collaborations, online classes and commissions. But that was just a side gig. It was more like a hobby to me. In that one month, I tried plenty of things. I did online and offline workshops. I designed a calendar. I did few commissions, sold my art to some licensing companies. And literally, I explored everything I could do with my art. Actually, this was to understand the real potential I have inside me and to understand how I can take my art journey forward. In that one month, I made a huge revenue which was almost equal to my quarterly pay. So I didn't really have to think too much when I was quitting my job. It was an easy decision. Now I'll tell you what made me confident enough to take this brave step. Even though the decision was made instantly, there was a journey behind it. It was a two year long journey. I had started my Instagram during 2017, end of 2017, when I decided to do an exhibition. Back then, my interest was in acrylic painting. I think I never did watercolor back then. I used to fill canvases and I had a huge collection at home. And at the point, we were not having enough space to store them. So I decided to do an exhibition. It wasn't a huge exhibition. It was just a pop-up store. A design hub in Dubai was hosting a pop-up exhibition. And they had put up an open call so anyone who had something to exhibit were invited to submit a portfolio and luckily i got selected on the exhibition day i went in with a pile of artworks which had no connection with each other i didn't have any particular style or theme i had exhibited everything i have painted but when i looked around and had a chat with other artists most of them are creating art for their living it was just few days before my exhibition, I opened an Instagram account and I had hardly 500 followers. But the people who came for the exhibition doesn't even care whether I had an Instagram or not. The exhibition was a huge success for me. I managed to sell most of the artworks I had exhibited. But my prices were too low. I was still new to pricing. I never had an idea how to price my artworks. So if I consider the revenue part, I cannot call it a successful exhibition. But if I consider the experience and the learning opportunity I got, I can call it a 100% successful exhibition. It gave me a lot of confidence and it was incredible to know people really liked my work. So this is how I started and this is how I gained that confidence to showcase my artwork on Instagram. Back then my account was named as Art by Z. Then slowly when I got into more of Northern Lights and Night Skies, I changed into Aurora by Z. So that's how my art journey started during the end of 2017. I started sharing my artwork on a consistent manner. At the beginning, it was all galaxy and night skies. 
then slowly I started doing more of landscapes. In between, I hosted a watercolor workshop here in Dubai as well as in India. So yeah, that was how everything started. Slowly, I started connecting with other artists. I took part in watercolor challenges and my followers started growing. It was a very slow and steady growth over the last four years. So if you have just opened your Instagram account, be patient, post good quality art content on a regular basis, be consistent and you will slowly start growing.